And the second is uh, the impact of uh, HIV AIDS in uh, Suriname from uh, 2003 to 2015. There's a work done by the University of West Indies to look at to what could be the impact uh, of the epidemic in that country specifically, which is depending on the mining uh, uh, area. And as you can see, there is certainly a decline on the GDP, on the savings, as well as uh, in uh, the investment. And uh, certainly, uh, the difference is not uh, at all a small one. And what is also important was to really look at to HIV compared to so some of the social injustices, meaning we have selected the, really, uh, the Gini index, which is really looking at uh, the distance between uh, the richest one and the poorest one in uh, uh, a country and really uh, to, to describe the, how wealth is distributed. And as you can see, uh, where the Gini is high, the prevalence uh, of HIV also is very high among uh, pregnant women. And uh, that can be seen in the case of the Bahamas, where the Gini index is at 13 and uh, the prevalence is at 3. In the case of Guyana, the Gini index is at 11 and uh, the prevalence is at 3. And, uh, uh, we look at Jamaica, the Gini index is at 9.7 and uh, the prevalence 1 point, and Trinidad is almost doing better, where the Gini index is at 8 and uh, the prevalence is at 0 0.9 in the year 2003. That was where all those countries have reported uh, on those two markers. And what has been the UN's response uh, to uh, the HIV epidemic, as I have said, uh, the first phase was uh, WHO, but the second phase was really uh, the UN came together and under the leadership of uh, the Secretary General uh, Kofi Annan to really establish uh, uh, the UN AIDS and uh, really make sure that uh, it is a, uh, a joint program which is really bringing together all the UN and uh, really trying as much as possible to work together to diminish or reduce uh, we'll say the logo competition uh, between us and really to create this uh, collaborative effort. And uh, we have been able to do that by trying as much as possible to divide the labor among us, but meanwhile working together. And uh, there are some, those are some examples where, for example, uh, prevention of HIV transmission in healthcare setting, PAHO WHO is leading, but it has the support of uh, UNICEF UNFPA as well as uh, ILO, healthcare setting is a workplace. P prevention of mother to child transmission, UNICEF is leading with the support of PAHO. Provision of information and education, etc. Uh, all the uh, education sector, uh, sexual education sector, UNFPA is leading. And the prevention of young people out of school, UNFPA is also uh, same time leading with the support of uh, UNICEF and World Food Organization, as well as uh, PAHO WHO. Prevention among young people, we have uh, UNESCO in the school system. We have UNESCO with the support of, uh, uh, I will say, almost all of us. In terms of strategic planning, governance, and financial management, and uh, uh, there we have UNDP, which has taken the lead uh, with the support of uh, the, uh, all of us, I can say. And uh, the support of strategic uh, prioritized and cost of the national plans, that also is uh, the World Bank, which has taken the lead among uh, us uh, with the support of ILO and the UNAIDS and uh, others. The procurement and the supply, we have uh, UNICEF and uh, in this region, UNICEF and uh, PAHO WHO, which are taking the lead. And uh, HIV workplace policy is ILO, which is taking uh, the lead on uh, that uh, area. And uh, the prevention of transmission among injecting drug users, we have UNIDOC. Prevention of transmission among MSM, we have UN, UN, UNDP, which take the, is taking the lead. Prevention among, uh, uh, we'll say, mobile populations, uh, UNFPA is taking the lead. And uh, prevention of uh, transmission among sex workers, UNFPA again, and uh, PAHO, WHO. Overall policy, UNH is taking uh, the lead as well as uh, the support of uh, UNIFEM, which is not a co-sponsor, but which is uh, supporting uh, some of uh, our efforts. Treatment, of course, is PAHO WHO. Care and treatment of people living with HIV AIDS. Orphans is uh, UNICEF, with the support of PAHO WHO. And uh, nutrition is, of course, the World, uh, World, Health, uh, World, World Food Program. And uh, security issues, UNAIDS is taking care of that. 
and uh, people affected by conflict, UNH UNHCR is lead leading. Uh, HIV among uh, migrant population, IOM is taking the lead and addressing uh, HIV among victims of human trafficking, UNIDOC, U, uh, UNFPA and UNICEF are uh, also leading in those areas. That is how the UN has uh, divided. Uh, and uh, the last point is really the monitoring and evaluation where UNH is taking the lead and uh, the establishment of surveillance systems where PAHO or WHO and uh, UNH are taking the lead. And this is generally the way we have divided the labor among us to really make sure that we are working together, we are supporting each other, and uh, we are not competing against uh, one another. And what has been uh, some of the progress accomplished, and uh, this is a good example where uh, from the Dominican Republic to Cuba, we have uh, the coverage of antiretroviral treatment, and the Dominican uh, Republic is the lowest one, uh, followed by Haiti, but Cuba is the, uh, certainly the best one, which has a, a more than a 95% uh, coverage, and Trinidad is at uh, uh, 58, for example, and Barbados is at uh, uh, 73. What has been also another success uh, for small islands, like uh, the Caribbean islands, is uh, the uh, establishment by the United Nations again, I believe uh, uh, the Secretary General Kofi Annan has uh, uh, created, uh, simulated the creation of this uh, establishment of these funds, which is called the Global Funds Against AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria. Just to give an example of uh, how successful this region has been to mobilize the resources, and uh, this is uh, a few countries have access to it, that is true, Suriname, uh, but regional level have, uh, also has ac also access to it, and uh, the Caribbean uh, as a whole, uh, it is one uh, um, uh, Almost uh, uh, 12 million now we have received from uh, that global funds. And uh, Intel Belize, which has uh, the 2 million, which is the lowest one. But as you can see, a country like Haiti has received 184 million uh, US dollars already from that funds, followed uh, by the Dominican Republic, which has uh, 94 uh, uh, million US dollars for HIV AIDS. And this is just one example. The World Bank has also another uh, pot of money, which uh, uh, the UN has been able to collaborate with countries to support them to get access to those resources uh, which are close to 150 million, which is part loans, part uh, uh, grants. But again, a good example of how the UN can support countries to get access uh, to funding. And all of this has been done because of UNAIDS and its uh, co-sponsors, which have helped the countries actually to, good, to get, develop good proposals, market them, and uh, to support them uh, with the implementation. Because as you know, the global fund says, uh, you, do, you said you want to do it, it is fine, but if you don't do it, uh, they will cut the money. So we are working actually to support member countries, the Caribbean countries, to implement uh, the global fund's uh, resources in a sound and technical uh, 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 way. And some good example, for example, the Dominican Republic is a success story where uh, we are seeing that uh, the HIV among uh, young people is declining from 24, uh, in the 15 to 24 years old. And uh, based on uh, the, the DHS Plus survey between 2002 and 2005, and uh, that is certainly a good sign that uh, things are uh, uh, going well. But still, if we consider females and males, as you can see, the green is uh, coming up, meaning really that females are still uh, uh, most uh, at risk. But challenges, if we look at the most vulnerable populations, the coverage of prevention programs still low. Not a lot of countries are reporting them, and the few which are reporting them, as you can see, the percentage of men who have sex with men not reached by prevention program is 56% in Cuba, 48% in the Bahamas, and 17% uh, in uh, uh, Guyana. And that is a uh, rich, uh, that is a uh, uh, seriously, a uh, serious uh, shortcomings. And when we look at the sex workers, we have the same scenario where clearly we, uh, the majority of uh, uh, the sex workers are not really reached by uh, the prevention uh, programs. 